저기요. 혹시 차 있어요? 차? 어. 차. 아니, 그차 말고. 차차차. 안녕하세요. Hello Geeks! Welcome to a new video. As you can see, we're in a new location. We're in we're out of the house and in the car. And be assured that I'm observing all the health protocols. I'm not uh, going anywhere near uh, any other people. And so I would like to remind you to keep safe, stay home if you can, and observe the health protocols wherever you are. So today we're going to be jumping on the Korean bandwagon. We're going to do a reaction video on the K-drama hit Homebound Cha Cha Cha. If you haven't watched it, don't worry, we're not going to put up any spoilers here as far as we know. But before we go on, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We talk mostly about cars and sim racing but we also talk about the great race called life. Now, as you know, Hometown Cha 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 is a South Korean TV series starring Shin Mina and Kim Son Ho as the lead characters. For those of us who watch K-drama from time to time, you might remember uh, Miss Shin from the famous My Girlfriend is a Gumiho and of course Mr. Kim from the 2020 hit series Startup. So Hometown Cha 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 is said to be a made-for-TV remake of the 2004 South Korean film Mr. Handy, Mr. Home. In Hometown Cha Cha Cha, Miss Shin plays Dr. Yoon Ye Jin, a superstar dentist in Seoul who loses her job and starts a private practice in the fictional seaside village of Gong Jin. She meets all the key people in the village, who each have their stories to tell, but she keeps running into the village handyman, Hong Du Shik, played by Kim Son Ho, and the conflict between their personalities drives the story forward. Now, this being a car and racing channel, I can't help but notice some of the cars being driven by Dr. Yoon, which aren't the usual uh, Hyundais or Kias common in Korea, but top of the line Audis. So in this video, we're going to find out, can a dentist in South Korea actually buy an Audi? In the first few episodes, we see Dr. Yoon driving what observers have identified as an Audi A5 Sportback for the 2022 model year. The A5 produces 261 horsepower and comes standard with four-wheel drive. Pretty decent for a luxury car being driven by a dentist around Seoul. But as we know, Dr. Yoon is no ordinary dentist. Her choice of the metallic blue Sportback gives us insight into her character. She prefers the simple elegance of a four-door sedan and combines it with the exciting lines and practicality of a hatchback, both of which are present in the A5 Sportback. This tells us that Dr. Yoon can be both formally refined and excitingly unpredictable at times. And for the first half of the show, we see Dr. Yoon's character matching that of the A5 Sportback as she shuttles between the big city of Seoul and the quaint seaside village of Gongjin. In the latter half of the show, however, we are introduced to a new Audi as Dr. Yoon settles into a more laid-back life in Gongjin. The Audi e-tron SUV combines sustainability because it's a full-fledged electric vehicle or EV and practicality it can pull up to 4,000 pounds of weight according to the brochure. And these are two key aspects for living a simple, meaningful life by the sea. But if you're thinking of an electric vehicle similar to a slow, boring, old man ride, consider this. The Audi e-tron churns out up to 405 horsepower and can reach 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds with its boost function. 
this EV is made by the same company that makes race-winning hybrids in the 24 hours of Le Mans. And we're not talking of the interior features yet. The e-tron has the usual bells and whistles like GPS and a multifunction screen. But the most unique feature is the virtual side mirrors. Yes! Virtual! Instead of the traditional side mirrors, the e-tron has wing cameras to lessen aerodynamic drag and improve range. Personally, I have some reservations on this technology, but the sight of Dr. Yoon driving an EV this advanced was enough to make me kick out. So now we get to the important question in this video. Can Dr. Yoon actually afford an Audi? According to SalaryExplorer.com, the average monthly income for a dentist in South Korea is around 9.37 million Korean won or roughly 8,000 US dollars a month. Senior practitioners make around 14.9 million won or almost $13,000 per month, while entry-level dentists earn 4.3 million won or $4,000 a month. Given Dr. Yoon's technical expertise, superstar reputation, and experience, she would probably be earning anywhere between 11 to 13 million won before she moved out of Seoul. But the countryside income of Gongjin would probably set her back to 9 or at most 10 million won or around $9,000 a month. Now according to Audi's official website, the A5 Sportback retails for $43,500 or 51.22 million won, while the Audi e-tron starting price is at $65,900 or 77.6 million won. If Dr. Yoon had purchased the A5 when she was still earning as much as 13 million uh, won per month, she might have fully paid for the car within a year, assuming she pays 5 million won in monthly installments. But the arrival of the e-tron, um, when Dr. Yoon had fully settled her life and heart in Gongjin, really amazes me. So assuming she pays Audi half of her estimated 10 million won monthly income, she would probably have finished payments on each run in 15 to 17 months. However, an important aspect of Dr. Yoon's character is her preference for brands, and her clothes, shoes, and accessories are no joke. Given the harsh competition among her dentist peers, Dr. Yoon's branded lifestyle is probably justified. So her choice of Audi as her daily drive thus makes perfect sense. But with her probably slightly decreased income in a quaint place like Gongjin, it's still a puzzle to me how she would have purchased and paid for the Audi e-tron. And this is enough to be considered the fourth mystery of Gongjin. <laughs> So I hope you liked the video and do take time to give us a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Please do help us reach a thousand subscribers so we can help more people with our Race for Hope initiative. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Keep safe and race on. Kamsamida! All I need is your love. Pado ga munchunun isungan. Kumushige pina un sweet smile. Kumukudu tagani. One sangi penai. Sing for.